Like in the last video, keep your chin tucked. Almost sounding like a Martian. Oh. As you will be rolling backwards. And this is especially so, so as you to prevent injury and no kinks or cracks. We don't want that. Uh, you ideally would like more space if you're doing from one side to the other. And make sure that the other side is obviously clear from any objects. You don't want to be stubbing your toe or anything. So I'm just going to quickly demonstrate. So, again, main advantage, if you didn't know already, this is a very nice cushion. If you don't have a mat or other soft things, this is as soft as it gets. When you're doing the back roll, uh, make sure the ideal form is that you, your hand placement basically, hopefully you can see it. So even though I didn't do that in the demonstration, ideally your hands will come by your ears. If you don't have the wrist mobility for it, uh, recommend doing some wrist rolls or anything because this can pinch if you aren't warmed up. Uh, and as I'm using the momentum to come to whatever direction you're going, I'm really intentionally thinking Okay, I gotta get my hips up. If I don't, this might be a good back massager, especially if you're in on the ground, but we don't want none of that. None of this. So, So, what you want to do, again, hands, ideally, by your ears, using the momentum that you're going for to go, uh, I'm going to go in this direction, and hopefully don't hit anything, and really thrust my hips this way. On the ground, you want to be even more careful because uh, even on a soft surface like this, where it's mostly rug, it's hard. And I don't want to... Ow. I don't want to hit myself on the back of the head too hard and cause who knows damage. Emotional damage. So, same principles. Chin tucked like this. You're gonna slowly, if you, if you don't want to do the motion completely, you're gonna roll backwards and then back. That's the initial part for the absolute beginner to get the feel of the movement. We're trying to have fun here. So as you're getting comfortable with rolling up and down, up and back, I should say. Then you can slowly and confidently roll back. Personally, I have found that I favor one shoulder, I believe it's this shoulder, to go backwards just because I used to do martial arts and that's the main way that I used to uh, complete roles when called upon. But it's important to, if you're doing that side, to work on the weaker side and, and make sure that it's consistent. Practice, practice, practice. Feel your body, have fun. 
And, and I would suggest that you would click on this video to go on into the next skill.